Hello everybody, welcome back to 10 Minute Reviews. I'm Jason, bringing you today's episode. My fuzzy co-star Frey is running around here somewhere. I'm sure she's gonna firm missile me in a little while to say hi and say hello to everybody else. And uh, we'll, like I said, bringing you today's video. As always guys, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. We are going to do this no matter what. We love to talk about books, but this is a small family channel, guys. We just, we really appreciate any support you guys want to give us. Um, otherwise, again, here to talk about books. So, and like we do a lot of times, I, I like to try and talk about older books that, that people may not have, have come across nowadays. And uh, so today, I want to talk about John G. Betancourt and his book, Johnny Zed. This is for sci-fi fans. Now, this comes a little bit closer to cyberpunk more than anything else. Okay, so, as always, I'm going to talk about four things. I'm going to talk about the world, the characters, the plot and the writing style. So, the world. The world is our world-ish. Theoretically, this is in the future. I can't call it the far future, but it's in the future. Again, this is sci-fi, but this comes much more in line with cyberpunk than anything else. We have, have body modifications, gene modifications. We have cybernetic limbs. We are to the point where you lose a finger and you're just like, eh, I'll get a new one in the morning. That, that, that's that's where we're at. Um, we do have, you know, animal people, but they are cybernetically mod cybernetically and genetically modified, mostly cybernetically modified um, to just look like animal type people. So we're in this cyberpunk type world, cyberpunk type society now. Oh, the fuzzy one has shown up. And uh, governments have, have, you don't want to quite say fallen, but things have changed. You're, you're almost in, in not quite anarchy level, but pretty close. And governments now, you know, the, the money has fallen to, to the point where, you know, you don't carry 20s with you, you carry thousands with you. You know, oh, that cow ride would be 4,000. Okay, here you go. You know, it's, 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 like, it's like 10 bucks, you know, or 20 bucks. Um, not like 1,000 would be today. And again, I already told you about, you know, the fingers, because that actually, that actually happened. Oh, you lost two fingers. Oh, man, I just got those fingers. Oh, I'll get a couple more tomorrow. But that's just where cyber cyber stuff has has fallen now the the society america at least is now controlled basically by congress for the most part uh by the politicians and we are in a world where there's almost like a um like a rebellion sort of an underground movement that's the best way to put it, an underground movement which leads into the characters so the main character is johnny zed now the second character shelly trace tracer but Johnny Zed is is the main. Well, it's tough to call him the main character. You know, let me let me kind of reverse this. Even though the book is called Johnny Zed, Shelley Tracer is the main character. She shows up in most of the book. Johnny Zed is, I guess you could say, the secondary character, supporting character. He's the main plot driver. So Shelley Tracer is one of those underground people, as is Johnny Zed. And as the book progresses. And they're continuing to work against this corrupt government that has has pretty much taken over the land. The first thing that happens, they fail in a mission, which should lead to their cell being dissolved. So basically, in the eyes of the government, they would be terrorists. They're criminals for sure, terrorists most likely. And, you know, Johnny, through a couple of interesting shenanigans manages to convince Shelley to to partake in some interesting missions and you know the one, one of the missions and I, I realize I'm going into the plot a little bit here so you know as I talked about the characters Johnny Zed he is a a basically an underground warrior kind of thing um, and Shelley Tracer is just the the rebel she's the rebel that just that, that she wants to fight the good fight she wants to be in the soapbox uh, and she's much more direct action, while Johnny Zed is, is, of course, a direct action kind of guy, but much more Machiavellian in his approach. So the plot, again, they're just, they, they, just, they just want to rebel. They, they, they want to take, they, not take over the government. They want to fix it. They want to fix society that they blame on the politicians. So they're part of this underground organization. And again, like I said, they failed. So Johnny Zed convinces her to partake in another mission, um, against a senator, and he lies to her in order to get it done. Things don't quite go the way she plans, but things do go somewhat 
the way they want. And then that ends up revealing Johnny Zed's next plot, which is very Machiavellian. And he somehow ropes Shelly Tracer into that one as well. So she continues to help. She continues to help. And then the next thing around, Johnny Zed all of a sudden goes traitor. He goes traitor, and he gives up this entire underground movement. Entire underground movement. Gives up their leaders, their founders, their bases, their safe houses, everything. Gives it all up. So, that goes sideways. Shelly is not pleased. And then that leads into the next one of his Machiavellian plans. Again, I keep going back to that, but he the, the this book is so interesting in how twisted this character is, and I'm not going to reveal what happens in the rest of the book, but it is fascinating, and Shelley's almost along for the ride, except that she's, again, she's the main character, and what ends up happening with her, it's, it's, it's actually pretty funny, more than anything else. Um, now, the writing style, uh, Betancourt's write, writing style for Johnny Zed, and I'm going to read his, uh, one of his other books, I've got it in my room right now, um, it, it's definitely, I think this was written in the early 80s, maybe, and he, he's a little bit wordy, it, it's not, uh, um, super, um, you know, witty or anything like that. It is, however, very interesting. It's very interesting. It's very gripping. And, you know, it's more distinctive. And again, deals a lot more with, with plots within plots within plots. And the character that just, that, that really doesn't want anything to do with those plots, but yet just keeps getting sucked into them over and over and over again. Um, so it's, it's a little bit drier of a read than a lot of the ones I've read. But again, it's a very, it's an excellent cyberpunk style book. So, it's, it's not, you know, a mile a minute kind of thing, but what you guys notice is also not very thick. So it's a quick, easy, good, fun read. So after you guys hit the like and subscribe buttons, guys, if you're interested in it, go check out Johnny Zed by John G. Betancourt. Again, it's, it's an interesting book, and it's an older book, and, and it's one that, uh, that most of you guys aren't going to stumble across on your own. So I hope you guys find it interesting if you're fans of science fiction. And if not, I'm sorry. We'll, we'll, we'll have other books that we talk about on this channel, so I'm sure we'll find something for you guys. Thank you again everybody for watching, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye now.